Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time we were having trouble with our bristle blossoms not accepting any irrigation. Um, yeah, waiting irrigation. And let me pop out of this screen here. Trying to figure out what to do with this, I decided to go and assemble the brightest mines that we have available. You know how long it took to get them all in one space? It was like, this is harder than herding hatches. Anyway, they've been they've been discussing this and going through all their algorithms and, and running their their uh, their Petri dishes and Bunsen burners, and they've come up with a solution. Now they're going to go off and deal with it. But <laughs> anyway, um, I scratched my head after last episode and started to design something a little bit different to try this time and then I had an epiphany and I went to the internet to try to figure it out and you know I couldn't find anywhere that listed all the plants and what waters they need you'd think that would be obvious but I couldn't find it so because it said when you get into these food a farm tile it wants liquid doesn't say exactly so clicking on the plant didn't seem to tell me anything either. It wants irrigation. So it was not obvious until I finally clicked on the hydroponic farm that had the plant in it. Then it gives different information. Information specific to the bristleberry. Specifically saying that it wants water. Over here, these guys, the planter box, wants polluted water. Aha. So we have got a whole bunch of polluted water trying to be shoved into something that wants water. That's a problem. That is a problem. So what I was going to do was swap this out with mealwood to try to see if mealwood would grow here but it's too cold for mealwood we're at 31 degrees 27 degrees where are we here down there 36 these guys want what they want 64 to 71 so i thought about putting them over in this area we're 64 uh there's a 60 59 it's getting colder but we need more batteries we need to split off the power system into two grids so i changed course and started mapping that out figuring out how to how to do that and realized that i'm going to be creating a lot of heat somewhere let's use that heat to warm up this area for these plants on a, in a hydroponic system still using or getting use of our uh, uh, polluted water coming out of here since these guys can't use it and it's too cold to put mealwood out here so with all of that is built up what I decided to do is leave these batteries for now and this scroll cage well actually that one's fine we can get rid of this one you cancel build and you cancel build this guy let's pop back into here what I think I'm going to do is break it right here running this area on this scroll cage and these batteries and this side and whatever expansion we get into next off of this scroll cage and these batteries that still maxes out close to a thousand here by the time we're we're all done but but um, it's a start you know eventually we'll be getting into much more complex uh, power systems and and uh, a major grid that circles the the map and tapping it wherever we need to that's that's the way the game is designed to to work now but this will do for now but i need to build all these components before we break the system or half of it's just not going to have power anyway um so i'm going to leave it paused for a bit while i'm talking so that they don't start building something that i don't want them to build we can get rid of all this now too that was a mess um back into water so we got polluted water in here we can get rid of the polluted water by hitting empty storage because right now it should say somewhere that there's five thousand grams of right there it contains oh it contains five 
kilograms of fertilizer and 5 kilograms of polluted water. So we can empty storage, dump it, I assume, back into the plumbing system. But we need to do something. We need to get rid of this plumbing system somehow. How are we going to do that? So what I thought about was putting in, give you a, a chance to see how the, there it is, the water purification system works. So what we might do is put something like this in right here. Of course, the inlet is on the other side, and is, this does not flip. I cannot uh, reverse it. They don't give me a mirror image version of it. So we're going to have to run a pipe over the top or down below into it, and then come the opposite way from the green over to the water over here. So there is a way to get rid of mm, the polluted water from this loop if we break it and let it just run through and eventually run itself out. And then maybe tap water, clean water, run that across and drop into here. And, and continue watering from that point. So we need to deal with this. We could just break the pipes and dump it, and it'll just spill out into here. It'd be nice to not do that. So what I'm considering, and let's see how best to do this. I want to break this system without losing anything. Let's see if that's possible. Um, I also want to... Are we built? Uh, get me out of this. Right-click, right-click. These guys are built. Well, let's at least say, let's give these a try. This is going to be millwood, plant, and eight, and copy. And run you across to there. Okay, so we get these planted. Otherwise, we need to take the polluted water and get it out of there. And then one thing that, um, one, okay, let me back up a little bit more. There's another train of thought going on here that I didn't mention. These will fill up. They will hit their max. You only need 20 kilograms per round of planting. So if you get enough coming in, it's going to max out, and it's just going to sit here stagnant, So, which is going to eventually back up, which is going to make these useless. Once it's all backed up, you can no longer use these until the next round of harvest and another gulp comes through. Mmm, gulp. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so if we were to put in that, that filter in here, it would keep it constantly flowing. These will only tap off what they need. The rest of it would go through, filter, dump in, and start to refill this, which is kind of good. We're going to take the water here. We're going to run it through the whole system, and the excess is going to get clean and put back into here. So eventually this spill over here is going to end up back in here again where it belonged. That's my solution to that little mistake. So that's the plan, I think. And then we need to get the power separated. So let's get these guys going and look at prioritization. Let's get the power going. So to do that, we need to do what? What did I add? Refine over here. That is a vent to drop carbon dioxide down if we need to. Um, so is this group right here and that group right there? Okay. Well, let's get those running at an 8. Get that power separated and and just this one separated and that let's hold off on the second one till we see how much heat's going to produce out of this first one so priority um, three and let's calm that area down don't build that one yet okay this is ice isn't it no that's granite okay so that's going to stay we'll have a little bit of a barrier there this would have melted snow and ice and yeah all right so they're going to be working on power and they're going to get these planted oh let's see that happening that's happening right as we speak isn't it kind of someone use the toilet there we go got a dirty bath water coming out it should half foot should go this way half should go that way when this branch works and this branch will eventually head down to that filter when it's all done Otherwise, as we hit here, we should divide off into fifths each direction. Yeah. And we filled it. Because there's nothing to take it here. Well, it just took a while to get in. Okay. So, are these reading as happy? We are low air pressure and stifled. Okay. Low air pressure. 59 and 60? 300 here. 
This isn't acting as a barrier, is it? Uh, 142, 64. Well, let's turn this guy on and just pump some more pressure into the place for a while. We may have spread some of our pressure out into all the various places that we've tapped. We didn't tap here yet. You need to go away. Dig. Nine. I'm still trying to get that hatch out of there. I'm going to see if he'll run up this pathway and dig into this. He doesn't like algae, apparently. But we haven't tapped this one yet, and it's high pressure. So that's not an issue. This was higher pressure, too. This should be pushing out into here. I think this is going to become unstifled eventually. Yeah, we're... There we go. We're 160. Over here, we're 150. So it's going to eventually. So low air pressure and stifled. Let's look at it this way. Well, it's 150. We're getting there. We're getting there. Stifled. Um, probably just because of the low air pressure. I think I should come back. Let's assume it's going to eventually work. I think that's the best way to approach this. Copy settings, move into YouTube. All right, so you get that done. Let's think over here some more. So this system is... Oh, they built it. Will you guys stop being so helpful? <sighs> I needed to get a lower priority on that. Okay, let me look at this again. How do we separate off this time? We make use of our valve. Zero is going to go through here now. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So with that, let's get you guys going again. Plumbing. And no, refinement. Water filter. Okay, you're going to come through, go up and over. That's probably a good spot right there. You guys can jump the ladders to get to it. Now you're going to go in. I want you in like now. Let's dig nine this area want that in like now and ooh, pause we're going to break barrier here ha ah. cold's going to creep in big time we could throw a wall right here they can build pipes through the wall can we throw it at insulated wall are we there yet insulated we're not where are we we're working here on insulated tile we got a long way to go. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we can put in a regular wall for the moment. That'll have to be the way to... Or do we put in a door? If we put in a door, they'll use it. And they use it a lot. Now we'll put in a, a wall. So you are going there. And that's probably all that's needed right now. Yeah, I think so. And we'll replace that with insulation later. Okay. So with that, we're going to plunge through here. We're going to prioritize that new wall segment. Get that in. And they can put their pipes right through it even after it's built. So not a rush. Um, is there any reason to... No, there's no reason to insulate. It's going to come through here and come right back, only temporarily. Otherwise, it's going to be inside the building for the rest of it. Okay. So we're going to drop down over... in, out, and vent. Okay, that will help dump all of this. Once that's going, I'll, I'll tell it to empty these contents. Once the pipe starts to empty, then I assume that we'll, uh, uh, that we'll be able to spill back into the same pipes and not spill out on the ground. I'll have to see what empty contents really means. Okay, what have I missed? Power? Does this take power? It does. Lovely. Um, well, we'll have access to all of this. And that. Let's just do something along those lines. Okay, that'll work. So let's also prioritize that group. Did we really all land on fives again? We did. Alright. Let's make it happen. Put it in. Let's get that going. So, then we'll get cold water, uh, I mean clear water, fresh water, going into these guys when it's all said and done. Now, up in here, we still have some problems. What are we going to do to mitigate this? We're filling. We... What do I need to do? Here? Yeah, it's here. Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay. Fluted water. 
it wants 40 kilograms per cycle and needs 2,000 fertilizer okay let's see here do we have any sense of contents it's filling up right there so we're on our way up to about 5,000 doing a lot of fluctuating though that's kind of odd right around 5,000 in polluted water almost like it's sharing back and forth and evening out the levels now we'll get back into that in a bit ah that's what I wanted to see the stifling just just starting to randomly go away as more oxygen and and uh, pressure is building up in here a little bit of blue in there yeah we're getting there okay so filling this up let's watch that is it continuing to flow through it is not yet it needs an outlet before it'll get a sense or get the the notice to move you're gonna do the last one Ty uh, wall is in okay well while they're doing that what else has been happening here power wise wheel wheel did not get put in because that set it as an eight this did not get put in though we started getting some of it in that's why this pipe got built okay let's clean that up that and that and that make this area look better and you are a what Electric wire. You're a mistake. Yeah, you're a mistake. So, cancel wire. There we go. Whoops, what did I just hit? Nothing. Okay. Alrighty, well, while that is going, that gets these guys growing in here. Not where I wanted them, but it'll do. And it's going to get the excess polluted water turned back into fresh water and eventually we'll get clear water out here to run these guys so give us two gardens that should be in far better condition and seed bearing and seed bearing is the big issue otherwise you got to keep digging hoping that there's a seed hiding in these spots you end up uh, digging your whole map away okay so we've turned this one off no you are disabled let's look at the oxygen I disabled a couple of them because we were looking fine and I see we're slowly starting to build up again what's our algae look like still 2900 boy we're gonna have to deal with that soon too everything is on an almost emergency basis it feels like how do we get you to jump over <sighs> tell you what deconstruct that let's put a wall in there He'll jump up on the wall. Um, yeah, deconstruct should come in automatically as a nine. Ooh, he finally did it. Never mind. Oxygen ladder. Cancel deconstruct. Build me a sandstone wall. Emergency status. Red alert. And then he's going to drop off into here on his own next time. Okay. Why did it take him so long to finally decide to do that? That was really odd. Enough days went by that I assumed that it just wasn't possible. Hmm. What are we doing? Just watching what they're up to. We're sweeping. Sweeping for some reason really, well, not for some reason. Sweep is where? Sweep is before build, and it's before deliver, and it's before dig. Yeah. I wish sweep could be moved over. I want a RimWorld system where I can put numbers instead of checks. So I can put some ones over here and some fours over there instead of always going in this order. So, sweep is a higher priority than harvest, mop, Repair power. Interesting. Okay. So do we need to turn him back on? I'm really hesitant with the 2800 left. I think we're, gonna, we're just going to get by with what we've got here. And really these guys could be lower. It's just that the water level was up here. <laughs> I've tried building these things 
in the surface of the water and it just drowned it out. It didn't work. I thought maybe if I had some water touching it. Of course, it's hard to keep water touching anything except for polluted water because they these guys tend to, you know, when you're not expecting it, run over there and suck water out and before long the, the levels dropped right there. So it's hard to maintain a water level somewhere. You've got to almost seal up a chamber and leave it that way. All right, with that, we've got this guy in. He's not powered yet. We want to set him as a 9. He gets sand delivered to him, which jobs delivery, now we know, is almost the end of the, uh, of the food chain here as far as everything else gets done first except for deliver and then dig. Yeah. So that's why you don't want to set everything for 9s because your most important delivery jobs need to be 9s. And really... I guess if you work it through, that they should be 8s. Leaving 9 as available for emergency work, 8 as the high priority delivery jobs, 7 for everything else. For your, basically your high priority. Just like Murphy's doing over on his channel. 7 is the new 9. <laughs> yep, I, I see that now. Anyway, we're doing a lot of flowing here. Let's see what's happening. Okay, we're dumping out. We're dumping out. Good. So let's see. We're not ready to actually do it yet, but let's see what's happening here. If I were to take you and empty storage, what would happen? Run the game. Does the storage just cease to exist? I went to a lot of work to save that five kilograms of polluted water. Nothing flowed. Oh, that's just mean. That's just mean. Empty storage. Fertilizer state. Okay, look at it this way. This way. Polluted water. Empty storage. Oh. Oh. So it's something that hasn't happened yet. I wonder if they're going to empty it into bottles. That very well could be. Empty storage. It's a job. At priority 9. Let's watch that. That may be what's about to happen. Because I really expected it would push it back into the pipes. Hmm. Okay, well. You, Handy, are not very happy. Drooling a bit, getting food. Murphy, you are, same. Ebony's <laughs> cold. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're filling up this guy, okay. Yeah, air is never going to be very good over here. I think it's we're just going to have to settle for that. Not until we get a good supply of clean oxygen being pumped into the facility from somewhere else. Well, we're not seeing any emptying going on. We're not seeing any wiring being done either. Priority, that didn't hit properly. Okay, try that. It's amazing how much time it takes to do anything here. I just looked over. I'm already over 20 minutes into this episode. I could have done all of this off camera, but I thought you'd probably like to see the thinking behind it, not just to pop back in and say, oh, we have a filter now. Let's move on. You now, kind of teaching folks how to play the game at the same time as enjoying playing it. All right, we're taking a shower. We're pumping in. We're filling up. We're, we're backing up the system here. Eventually we're going to back up in here. And this is going to be all backed up as well, which is why we want to be able to pump into here and get it out. Alright, so what's happening here? I think we're waiting for a delivery, aren't we? A waiting material delivery, which here it is right there. The sand on, on uh, Tomasov's back, and boom. It flows in. Pumps out clean water. And drips back into here. That's how it works. So, next step... Oh. Every time I go to solve something, I come up with three other problems that have to be dealt with, too. I will kind of watch this play out. I need to get clean water across here and into there. I need to get polluted water across here and into here. Into here. How do we cross paths? I mean, yes, there is a bridge. Plumbing. This guy right here. So he'll bounce over one pathway into another, but he will not do it in a 
building. They will do it in a building, Neil? I thought you couldn't do it across a, a floor. But it's not going red on me. I guess you can do it across a floor. Ooh. Okay. Well, um, I'd say right there looks good. Now, the in, and that's the out. Yep, that's correct. If you'll accept it, then I'll take it. All right. So let's... Hmm. Let's just tap across first. From there to there. We'll probably have to abandon this one guy right here. Yeah, I think so. Let's deconstruct. And nine on liquid pipes. Where did you go? There? Yeah. We'll see what happens here real quick. We're going to get a splash of polluted water somewhere. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing it. Mop. Nope. Okay. It, uh, the, the wall swallowed it or something. Okay. So with that plumbing pipe, we're going to take the clean water straight across, tap into the pressure regulator in case that ever does become an issue, and we're going to break deconstruct uh, liquid pipes and with that can I get back into this window I can and we're gonna take out all of you yep I think that's a system okay priorities let's make all of this happen so we can move on and finally be done with this system um, we need to uproot. That's not it. Up here? And what was your problem? You're saying awaiting irrigation, stifle, and low air pressure. Okay. So, oh no, we're not going to uproot. We're going to continue to use this system. That's right. We're just going to put new water in. Okay. So let's get this to happen. Otherwise, have they been tapping anything else while we've been waiting? I guess they're just busy doing all the other basic stuff. Our... Compactors are set on seven. So, are we cleaning up? No, we're delivering. Okay. You jumped up where there was oxygen. Okay. That's, that, that works. This can all be taken apart now, but... I'll tell you what, let's deconstruct all just those two. We'll leave one as, a, as an escape route. All right, dupes. What do we have in here? We've got... A learning with good athletics which we can train up with the scroll cages. Learning we can train up with the research while it lasts. There's only a few left. So, 15's no good. There's not enough here. And there's not enough here. So we're going to reject this group. Okay. Moving on. Research is complete. Nope, we're still working on it, but... Research is set at 8. We have power. Why is Catherine not... Because I got some 9s out here. Okay. I want this system up and running. So let's watch it happen, right? What is left? This group here and that. The deconstruction is finished. These are starting to go in. As soon as we get a completed circuit, which is like right now, we should see the stalled water finally has a place to go. All right, you're going to take the bridge, jump across, and start filtering all the excess here. Every other one's going this way, every other one's going this way from now on. Hopefully that will be enough. We could pressure regulate this one. Is that the way to do it? To force most to go down here? Hmm... Oh, speaking of that, we did that to here. All right, so let's just take you wide open until we know more about what we want here. And you've got to go down there to do it. Interesting. They do have to go reset it. That was interesting to watch. Uh, pop out of there, go back to here. And we've got a little bit left. Oh, we're still waiting for this process of emptying? Okay, what's happening here now? Contents. Polluted water, 5. Cancel empty. So the empty has been given. And it's not happened. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, it's a nine. We'll give it a little more time. There are no other nines out there that are beyond getting water and sand to various things. So we should see this about to happen. What do I want here? Priorities? Yeah. So working on other things like harvesting and, and what have you. We'll hopefully research soon. And I'll get, in, get into the wiring system now. We're not going to get to here. That's really interesting. Why are they not going to dump out the old? I hate to tear all this up and redo it. I mean, that's the fastest way to, to, to beat this thing, but that may be what I'm going to have to do. Kind of wanting to play by their rules, but they're not really uh, indicating that they're going to. What was that? I thought you dumped clay. Do you not? Okay. Polluted dirt. We dump polluted dirt here. Interesting. Polluted dirt goes over into this one, and it is set for a nine. So they should... Oh, that face. They should get the order to automatically come get it. Yeah, I may need to rebalance the whole system like Murphy just did and make all of the... You know, make seven the new nine and, and get our efficiency back again because we are kind of stalling out on things well that was the fix over here we're not really seeing it happening yet but that was the fix oxygen still a little iffy these guys just can't keep up with this load guess this needs to be turned back on this one not so much though um what do I want here this one we're starting to creep in toward this again as we process it, it should draw it back down, one would think. But we're not, we don't have enough exposed over here to make him valid. Really just need a third one down in here is what it looks like. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're about a half hour into this. I wanted to show you this process. I'm going to now get all this up and run, running. Get the power system split. Get this functioning. And maybe do a little bit of cleanup. And then I'll catch you next time. Alright, so this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.